the women have higher standards in these countries. Women from these cultures won't even give men the time of day if they don't pursue and come correct. This wasn't about how they behave in relationships or if they are cheaters or whatever the stereotypes are that I was reading in the comments. The point I was trying to make is that these men know how to pursue women from the beginning because in these countries, the women require more and they just won't accept subpar and low effort. They require more and yet men are going there. The men just by nature will pursue and they will pull out all the stops. That doesn't mean that because they're pursuing you, they want a relationship. I'm confused. Are you talking about women in the West or women overseas? In fact, we made a video a long time ago where we said that American women are seen as easy, who get pursued by foreign men that just want to hook up. But the point is that they pursue to begin with, which means they don't do anything half-assed like men in America do. Okay, I'm really confused here. Many studies and lived experience have shown that American women are the pickiest women in history. How come men in America do things half-assed? And it falls on the women, honestly. If the women here didn't accept coffee dates, required more effort from a man, let her expectations be known, and made her boundaries very clear early on, then you would have men pursuing you. And if they don't come correct, you don't engage. The problem is that women here accommodate men too much. And that's what I meant by them being spoiled. This woman is really out of touch with reality. Most American women want men to have a six pack, a six figures job, expensive cars, homes, and whatnot. And the only thing most of these women bring is a used up piece sleeve. Because sure, in these other cultures, the men are spoiled and they're catered to, but they're only spoiled after the women are wifed up and they are their wives or they're in a serious commitment. The women in these countries are not doing an unpaid internship for no title. Women here will sleep with men before they're exclusive. They'll give you the total wife package and the men don't even have to put as much effort. And that's the difference that I was trying to address. But the question remains, if women in America are easy on men, why are men going where you are saying it is hard to get women? If American women are busting it open in coffee dates, why are men going where it is expensive? This broad tried to gaslight people, but it looks like she gaslit herself trying to convince people that it is bad for men to go look for women overseas. So what are your thoughts on men, particularly black men, going or leaving the United States, using their passports, calling them the passport men or passport boys, to go and find a significant other in another country. I leave the States to find a partner. Like there's a lot of beautiful, intelligent women here in the United States. If you say so. I just think y'all are attracting the wrong people. Well, you might be right. But here's the problem. If where you are the majority of people are promiscuous, disrespectful, and entitled, you will have a greater chance of attracting promiscuous, disrespectful, and entitled people. Changing the environment can prove to be the smarter move. Do men not value love? Because you go to another country, you cater to these women in other countries, they're just feeding your ego. Like, they don't even love you. Well, as far as the truth goes, love has no boundaries. Unless you are a racist. Ma'am, are you racist? I bet you might be. I mean, you may have some. You may have some that'll fall in love with you, but initially, yo, you're a meal ticket. You're a complete meal ticket. Or maybe you don't care that you're a meal ticket if you're a passport boy. Like, I just, I need to understand really and honestly and truly why men will leave the United States to go and find a partner overseas knowing that those people may use you for what you got anyway. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right. Bye. Well, it works both ways. The people in your own country are also well able to use you for what you got. So what is your point? You are just mad about the fact that men in your country are choosing to be meal tickets to foreign women instead of you.
It is strange how all those women scream to anyone who has ears, that they are strong, independent, and that they don't need men. But the moment men do something that do not involve them, here they come trying to lecture and shame men for doing things that do not involve them. Doesn't understand why going Jesus. to an impoverished third world <clears throat> country with your American ass and your American dollar to hire workers and manipulate them with the five dollars you have in your pocket they don't understand why that's bad but then again i said at the end of the video they don't read he could have easily googled this and figured it the fuck out but no here we are y'all incriminate y'all sales because y'all don't know any better and guess what good what this this is the reason why most men are getting their passport and going overseas